So it is really important for us to learn this because if you believe you are a victim and that's a perception, uh, then you become a victim. And so we have to change that belief, that perception, to let you know that your thoughts are controlling your biology. Well, the significance is profound because it basically says, what are your thoughts? Because if you understand from neuroscience that 70% of our thoughts are negative and disempowering beliefs, then recognize that we're not leading our life with our power. We're just leading it with a belief of being powerless. So this is a time for change, a new science, a new world, and a new power for each individual because you are the master of your health and your fate on this planet. The new science really reveals how the mind is controlling our biology, not just our genetics, but what happens to us in the world. And when you say the mind, it sounds like there's just one mind, but this is a misunderstanding. There are actually two minds. Each one has a different function, and more importantly, each mind learns in a different way. So let's talk about the latest evolution of the mind, and that's called the conscious mind. That's a part of the brain that's right behind your forehead right here. And this part of the brain called the prefrontal cortex is the seat of your personal identity. The prefrontal cortex is where your spirituality connects to your biology. The relevance of the conscious mind, which is the prefrontal cortex, is the conscious mind is creative. And this is why humans are so different than lower animals. Uh, we can have imagination, and then we can create from that imagination. So this is the most wonderful mind for this simple reason is, if I ask you what you want from your life, the answer you give me, by definition, is creative. Oh, I want to be healthy. I want to have a great relationship. I want to have a great job. I go, yes, this is creative and it's imagination. And yet, if the conscious mind is running the biology, that's how we can manifest the life we want. But I now have to bring up the second mind, and that one is the original mind, before the conscious mind was created. That mind is called the subconscious mind. Subconscious literally means below consciousness, meaning that whatever programs are being carried out in the subconscious mind, you don't have to think about them. They're automatic behaviors. Well, here's the issue. The subconscious mind is not creative like the conscious mind. The subconscious mind is like a programmed computer. There are programs in that mind. And the beautiful part about these programs is we can learn programs. And you say, so what's good about it? I say, well, think about it this way. I don't know what age you are, but when you began walking, you were less than two years of age. And you learned from that experience as an infant how to stand up, how to walk without falling down. And this became a program of walking. So you can be 100 years old now, and you're still walking. And it's easy because the same program that you got when you're two is still in there. So the subconscious mind is like the habit mind, habits, things that we learn. Well, some people say the subconscious mind is where evil comes from sort of like a Freudian mind where the worst part comes from and they blame the subconscious. Well, let me give you a simple understanding. The subconscious mind is like a CD recorder. I can record a program into it, and every time I push the program button, the program will play, and you can push it, the button, forever and ever and ever, and you can keep playing the program, such as walking.